Hey everyone, I'm going to talk about how to set up a hotspot with uh, a Wi-Fi router. So there's a couple reasons why you might want to do this, but basically the idea is that you don't have a dedicated high-speed internet access like I do because I live in a rural area, um, but I have a lot of people that want to get on the internet uh, and I want to utilize my router. Now I do have a dedicated hotspot and that works fine, but it does heat up and it's not really meant for 24-7 usage. So what I'm showing here is something called an LTE, a 4G LTE modem that uses a hotspot SIM card and you connect that to your router and then users connect to the router uh, just as if it was you know high-speed internet. So here's the Netgear 4G LTE modem. Okay? Now it does not come with a SIM so what you had to do, have to do is you know you have to go to uh, you know AT&T or Verizon or somewhere right and get yourself uh, what's well, called a bring your own device hotspot SIM card. So here's the the uh, the modem, the device, and really it's basic. You know, you can have a power on off button, and then that's ether an Ethernet connection that you connect to the Wi-Fi router. Now on the bottom here is where you put the SIM card. Now it does not come with this. You'll see I already went out to AT and T. I spent five bucks on a SIM card and signed up for whatever the highest rate plan I could. It's about seventy bucks a month, and they put the SIM card in for me. Okay, so really simple. Um, that's kind of the key things is go to, you know, whether it's T-Mobile or, or whoever your carrier is, uh, get a SIM card, bring your own device, and then have them initialize it and all, and all that good stuff. So they'll do that in the store, sign up. Um, I get billed at the end of the month. Um, this one does have a, a cap on it for data. So, uh, but this is my second hotspot in the house um, since we're kind of hitting capacity on the dedicated hotspot I had. So I wanted to try this out. The nice thing is if it doesn't work, I can always just cancel it or whatever. Uh, and I may try a, a different um, carrier. I do have an unlimited hotspot dedicated from Verizon, uh, but I wasn't able to take out the SIM card. So I went ahead and got a bring your own device SIM card. So there you can see I had powered it up and it's got some lights on it. Uh, there's that other connection to Ethernet, and that's all I got to do is I plug, you know, that box. It's just like as if it was my high-speed cable internet, and it, but it plugs uh, into the Wi-Fi router there, and basically it's using a cell signal and a SIM card to get internet access. And by the way, this is how, this is the future. This is what everyone will be doing for 5G when it comes around. So the second, the last piece here I had to do was, you know, log into my Wi-Fi router and basically set it up. I had um, some old settings, so I just did a full... Uh, factory reset. I, I accessed it. Uh, I think the address is like 192.168.1.1 or something. And then you can see it comes up, identifies. I have to put a password and do all that. And uh, just kind of the basic stuff. And you can see eventually it's just going to reset and download some firmware or whatever. But because I had the SIM, um, you know, activated, you can see I'm getting data right there and I'm good to go. I hope that helps. Take care. Thanks.